NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, presents Aeronautics and Space Report. This picture of the moon's far side was taken by NASA's Lunar Orbiter 5, then transmitted some 250,000 miles through space to Earth. Lunar Orbiter 5 is the last in a series of moon-circling craft. After the pictures are initially received, they are sent to NASA's Langley Research Center in Virginia for screening to help determine possible astronaut landing sites. One device measures variations in density, variations revealing the height and depth of lunar craters. A landing site must include a three by five mile oval free of major obstructions. Craters in the landing ovals are counted, just one of the methods of rating whether a landing area is good or bad. Early lunar maps showed only the largest features such as mountain ranges and major craters. Observatory pictures were better, but still left a lot to be desired. This small dot was indistinguishable as a crater on the first map. Lunar orbiter photos clearly reveal the crater to be a mile and a half in diameter. It is this kind of detail that makes landing site selection a much simpler task. This is the crater Copernicus. Orbiter 2 photographed the same crater from this angle. Here are some other views taken by Lunar Orbiter 5. And an astronaut's view of our own planet as seen from the moon. For them, the astronauts, lunar landings will be much safer safer because of the pictures returned by these orbiting explorers. From this point, U.S. manned lunar expeditions will begin. It was here that the first Saturn V moon rocket was recently assembled for flight, inside a 52-story building, a building so immense that nearly an hour is needed just to open one of its doors. But the vehicle assembly building does not stand alone in its hugeness. The Saturn V rocket with an Apollo spacecraft on top is itself 363 feet tall. Someday it will carry three men and equipment to the moon and back. The transporter used to carry mobile launcher, rocket and spacecraft to the launch pad. It, too, is a study in size. The baseball diamond-sized transporter traveled at speeds up to one-half mile an hour, taking 10 hours to move from the assembly building to pad 39. Including its own weight, the transporter carried 9,000 tons as it crunched over a specially constructed track. The upcoming launch of Saturn Apollo will be an unmanned one. Time to test out the sophisticated rocket and spacecraft. Time to prepare three men for Earth orbiting missions and finally a round trip to the moon. This has been an aeronautics and space report presented by NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration.